Guns are one of mankind's inventions that have changed the face of this planet and our society forever. From their early colonial and militaristic uses to their present-day proliferation in certain war-torn countries and a particular Western superpower, guns have become a deeply entrenched part of our human experience. Gun safety is also incredibly important, as guns are heavy, deadly, awkward to carry, and can make people quite nervous. This all adds up to a shocking number of guns being dropped each year. Which brings us to the question, can a dropped gun go off? When you fire a bullet from a gun, a rather simple process is triggered. A bullet consists of three parts, the primer, the propellant, and the bullet itself. Upon firing, the primer acts as a fuse, which then lights the propellant, which will accelerate the bullet. The bullet itself then rockets out from the barrel of the gun and does the majority of the damage. However, for a gun to go off, that first step must occur, meaning that the primer must be ignited. This is where the metal firing pin comes in. A spring-loaded hammer pushes the firing pin into the back of the bullet when you pull the trigger, which ignites the primer and fires the gun. So, if you never put your finger on the trigger, is your gun safe? even if you drop it? When a gun is fired unintentionally, it is classified as an accidental discharge. This can happen in many situations, such as mishandling of a gun, improper storage or holstering, poorly constructed or damaged firearms, overheating, and yes, just by dropping it. Firearm design, as in every other long-term industry, has evolved and improved over time, and when it comes to guns, much of that innovation has been focusing on making guns safer. In the Wild West, it wasn't uncommon for a cowboy to shoot himself through the holster or drop his gun and have it fire when it hit the ground. This is because the shoot 'em up Western era came before the advent of the drop safety or firing pin block. Most modern handguns come with this safety in place, which isolates the firing pin, preventing it from slamming into the primer, even if the gun is dropped. However, this isn't true for all guns particularly long guns, like rifles and others used for hunting or precision shooting. These typically don't have a safety, as their internal mechanism and design is slightly different. These guns do pose a risk of accidentally discharging when dropped, particularly on the butt of the gun, as that impact can cause the firing pin's inertia to move it forward, even if the hammer isn't ready. For generations, broad understanding of drop safeties and proper gun safety was largely lacking, and there are still some serious issues. Modern revolvers tend to be the safest gun in terms of dropping accidents, as there is a slide bar between the hammer and the firing pin. Generally speaking, if your gun is kept in good condition, was made in the past 10 to 20 years, and isn't used frequently enough for wear and tear to compromise the safety mechanisms, there is almost no chance of the gun firing if you drop it. However, if you're a Civil War reenactor using authentic long guns, or if you have a history of clumsiness, be extra careful.